In this lecture, you are going to learn what is call and apply method in JavaScript and what is its use. So in one of the lectures of this course, we learned about this variable in great detail. And if you remember, we learned that this variable always refers to an object. If a method is called on an object, then this variable inside that method will refer to that object on which we are calling that method. But in case of a regular function call, this variable will refer to the global object in normal mode and it will be set to undefined in strict mode. Okay, so the value of this variable is determined based on how the function is called within which we are using this variable. Okay, so so far we have seen that the value of this variable is set automatically during runtime based on how the method is called in which we are using this variable. But it is also possible to set the value of this variable explicitly to any other object. The call and apply method in JavaScript can be used to set the value of this variable explicitly. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have a very simple object called John and this John object has this name property, age property and occupation property. And it also has a method called greetings. This method is going to take two parameters, style and time of day. And based on the style, it is going to log a greeting message in the developer console. So if the style is formal, you know, this case will be executed and a greeting message will be logged. A formal greeting message will be logged in the console. But if the style is friendly, then this friendly greeting message will be logged in the console. Okay. And inside this greetings method, if you notice, we are using this variable as you can see okay so let's go ahead and let's call this greetings function i mean this greetings method and in order to do that we will have to access it on the object so this john object has this greetings method now this greetings method is expecting value for style and time of day parameter so for style let's pass formal and for time of day let's pass morning okay Let's save the changes and here you can see a formal greeting message has been logged. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John and I am 28 years old teacher. So in this example, this variable here is pointing to this John object because the method within which we are using this variable, that means this greetings method is called on this John object. So this variable here will point to John object, right? In the same way, let's also pass the style as friendly. Let's save the changes. So now a friendly greeting message has been logged. Hey there, my name is John and I am 28 years old teacher. Okay, and again inside this case also we are using this variable here. So when we say this dot name, it is here this variable is pointing to John object. So here it is John dot name. And what is the value of this John dot name? It is John. And that's what you see in the message. In the same way, here, since this variable is pointing to John object, John.age will return 28. And that's what you will see in the output. In the same way, here, this dot occupation, since this variable is pointing to John object, it will be John.occupation. And what is its value? It's teacher. And that's what you will see in this output. All right, now let's go ahead and let's create a new object. And let's call this object mark. And this mark object is also going to have a name property. Let's say name is mark it is going to have an age property let's say age is 30 and it is also going to have an occupation property and let's say occupation is designer so you know mark is a designer now this mark object does not have a greetings method now what we want is we want to call this greetings method of this John object. But inside this greetings method, we want this variable to point to mark object. Okay, so instead of pointing to John object, this greetings method, you know that this variable inside this greetings method should point to mark object. So here we want to set the value of this variable explicitly. And here we can use either call method or apply method. Let's see how to do that. So let's call this greetings method and since this greetings method is present inside this john object we will have to access it on the john object so let's say john dot greetings 
Okay. Now when I'm accessing this greetings method on this John object, the this variable inside this greetings method will point to John object. But what we want here, we want this variable to point to mark object. So we want to set the value of this variable explicitly. And for that, on this greetings method, we can use call method. Okay. Now, the first parameter of this call method is the object to which we want to set the value of this variable. And here, inside this greetings method, so inside this method, we want this variable to point to mark object, right? So the first parameter of this call method will be the object to which we want this variable to point to. So in this case, it will be mark. Then the rest of the parameters will be the value for the method parameter. So here, we also need to pass the value for this style and time of day parameter. Okay, so these will be the rest of the parameters for this call method. So for style, let's say formal. And for time of day, let's say maybe afternoon. Let's go ahead and let's save the changes and let's see what output we get. So here you can see it says, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark and I am 30 years old designer. So you can see that now inside this greetings method, this variable is pointing to mark object and not to the John object. So here using this call method, we have explicitly set the value of this variable. Okay. So this is the use of call method. Using call method, we can set the value of this variable explicitly. And we can achieve the same thing using apply method as well. So here, let's say, let's again call this greetings method on this John object. And again, we want to set the value of this variable inside this greetings method to point to mark object. So instead of using call method, let's now use apply method. And this apply method takes only two parameters. The first parameter is again the object to which we want this variable to point to. So here again, we want this variable to point to mark object, right? So the first parameter will be that object. So mark object. And then the second parameter is going to be an array. And inside this array, we pass the value for method parameters. So since we are calling this greetings method, we also need to pass the value for style and time of day parameter. Now, in case of call method, we can pass it using commas. But since this apply method is only taking two parameters, the value for these method parameters, we will have to specify it inside this array. Okay, so the value for the style parameter, let's say is friendly this time. And the value for time of day, let's say evening. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's save the changes and let's see if it works. So here you can see now a friendly message is logged. Hey there, my name is Mark and I am 30 years old designer. Okay, so again, here also, this variable is pointing to mark object. So using apply method, we have set the value of this variable explicitly to point to mark object. And this is the use of call and apply method in JavaScript. The only difference between call and apply method is that apply method only takes two parameters. For the first parameter is object to which we want this variable to point to and second parameter is an array inside which we specify the parameter values for the method. Now one thing which you need to remember here is that both call and apply method when we use it on a method it executes that method immediately. Okay, It does not create a copy or return that method. It executes that method immediately. So here this greetings and you know in both these cases, this greetings method will be executed immediately. Now, we also have another method called bind method, which is also used to set the value of this variable explicitly. But in case of bind method, it does not execute the function immediately. Instead, it returns a copy of that function and then we can execute that function later in the program. And we will talk about bind method in our next lecture in great detail. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any question related to call and apply method, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.